What's up everyone, welcome to Best Car Reviews, I'm Ben, and today we'll be dissecting the 2024 Subaru Forester. Your Best Car Reviews are strive to bring the most accurate relevant information in under 10 minutes. There's no misleading and no wasted time. If that's something that's intriguing to you and you like the content as you watch, please like and subscribe so I can continue to grow the channel. Let's get started. The Subaru Forester, I'm sure we are all very familiar with it. They are literally everywhere, I feel like everywhere I turn, it's a Subaru Forester or a Nissan Rogue. I don't know if that's the same where you are, but... It's certainly the same where I've been, like, everywhere all the time. But anyway, been a long-standing, very successful vehicle in Subaru's lineup. Heading into 2024, they're carrying on their signature and really well-done features inside and out. And if you're loving the design, stay tuned because they're going to go through all those trims. Key details that matter most to you to determine which will be the best bang for your buck. All photos and information in today's video come direct from Subaru. Let's dive in. Subaru will be bringing you six different trim options for the 2024 Forester. Base, Premium Sport, Limited, Wilderness, and Touring. That base will start you off sub $30,000, which is great to see at $28,200. And the Touring will top you off at $38,500. So across these six trims, you have a price difference of about $10,000. So certainly, um, there should be a Forester turn here for you that you love, that you can afford. And given that there's six trims within $10,000 of each other, it is going to make it a little more difficult to choose which one you want. Although, there's some things that aren't going to make it more difficult, and that's engine options, because you're getting the same one on everything. 2.5 liter, four-cylinder boxer engine from Subaru, 182 horsepower, 176 pound-feet of torque, so not the fastest car in the world, but you're not buying this to race people, or maybe you are. Maybe you could race a CRV. CRV might beat you, though. We'll have to see about that. Transmission will be a CVT, and you do get Subaru's signature, tried-and-true, all-wheel drive system. MPGs aren't that bad for this vehicle. Uh, 26 City and 33 Highway. Let's go through the pictures released. We'll go through the main features. Unchanged for 2024, but prices have increased. One of the best things about the trims of all Subaru lineups are that the trims actually look different from each other. Uh, you know, other than just wheel designs, which is commonly what you really see now, it seems like. I love when trim levels are obviously distinguished, and Subaru is one of the very few who are really doing this right now. Base key features on the exterior include 17-inch steel wheels, LED steering responsive headlights, black folding side mirrors, and 8.7 inches of ground clearance with a spare tire. Definitely need to point that out. Spare tire on all these trims, which is great to see. Premium will quickly get you more and better, adding on fog lights and a much better designed wheel. Also a roof spoiler, roof rails, body color side mirrors, and all-season tires. Sport, once again, ramps up wheel design and size up to 18 inches, and the front fascia design is also more elevated. Also adds dual function X mode, red accents, and LED fog lights. The wilderness trim is certainly the most bold appearing and potentially most desirable in the lineup. You're getting 17 inch matte black wheels, black hexagonal, if that's how you pronounce it, <laughs> um, texture folding side mirrors with integrated turn signals, race suspension with 9.2 inches of ground clearance, up from the 8.7, uh, front skid plate, all-terrain tires, and anodized copper finished accents. Subaru certainly portrays the wilderness as the ultimate off-roading Forester, and yes, it is capable, but don't push your limits. Be safe and know this car can only handle so much. Limited goes back to a more conservative looking Forester, with nothing new for exterior features, but you do get a nice wheel design and the wheel that's 18 inches, fog lights are not LED on this trim. Touring gets you the most in a sense that you can get on this Forester, aside from say the wilderness, you go back to LED fog lights, the best wheel design in my opinion with a dark machine gray finish, satin chrome side mirrors with integrated turn signals as well. Clearly, a lot of desirable ways to get your Forester and I like, and like I mentioned before, it's a great, all the trims offer a different look, even if many features carry over. And with the price points being so close to each other, it's easy to jump up the ladder when you see desirable features not far ahead. Towing capacity on your Forester is going to be 1,500 pounds. I think your red toy wagon can tow more than this thing. Please don't try to tow your yacht with it. Tons of different color options to choose from for your 2024 Forester. There will absolutely be one you love. I personally love the Cascade Green Silica. Best bang for your buck, in my opinion, in this lineup will be the Sport. I'd want the option for the larger infotainment screen, which we'll get into. And for not that much more money, I think it's worth it because you'll also gain a lot when it comes to looks and standard features as well. Having roof rails, a moonroof, elevated wheel design, spoiler, it's all desirable and worth a couple extra thousand dollars. Let's look at some interior shots now. We'll go through those main features. A super attractive interior coming your way from Subaru. 
If you've watched my other Subaru reviews, you know they've stepped up their game in their interiors, and I think they're, they compete really incredibly well with the others in the segment. Um, base is what you'd expect, not many bells and whistles. It gets you cloth interior and all the basics a car could need, and nothing more. Premium interior kicks it up a notch and gets you a panoramic moonroof, standard heated front seats, 10-way power adjustable driver's seat, and a leather-wrapped steering wheel. To match the outside accents, the sport trim gets you two-tone cloth seats with orange contrast stitching. I think these seats look really awesome. Wilderness gets you a fantastic looking interior and includes all the goodies you've heard so far, but materials change to Star Trex water repellent upholstery. And you get the Wilderness emblems on the headrest. You also get a 180 front view camera, and you also find the anodized copper finish accents inside as well. Limited finally gets you standard leather upholstery and carries on all the other features mentioned so far. Touring offers you exclusive saddle brown leather trimmed upholstery, gives you passenger seat, uh, an eight-way adjustable capability, heated in front and rear seats as well. The standard infotainment screen on the base premium and sport trims is six and a half inches. The eight inch screen is an option for the sport and standard on the top three trims. It will come with the latest version of Subaru Starlink inter interface software Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are compatible. The driver's info cluster area is a vibrant analog setup, but you do have a screen to scroll through your info information screens, you know, a little smaller one in between those gauges. And you have up to 74.2 cubic feet of storage in your Forester. Overall, I'm thrilled with this interior. Like the outside, there's so many different ways to option it, and they all will look different. I love the dash designs. I love the seat designs and materials. And I think this is really just a fantastic setup for the money. Interview guys, if you're in the market for a vehicle like this, you're checking out this Forester. It is a very competitive market out there. Um, SUVs obviously like rule America right now, and you're, this is one of the most competitive fields of SUVs. You're going against the CRV, the RAV4, the Tucson, the Rogue. It goes on and on, and these are some big players that you're seeing come out with some great designs, great capability. I've done reviews on some of these. Definitely check those out if you want to see the comparisons between these models. Uh, a lot to dissect when it comes to that. So I, as I say in pretty much all of these where I'm comparing big players, it's going to come down to really, I think, what you think is the best looking on the exterior because the interior features can be, you know, comparable. It, an infotainment screen is 8 inches here, it's 8 inches there. It's, it's the same thing, Apple CarPlay. But the exterior of your car really I think is where it shines and where you're probably going to be most attracted to given yes you spend more of your time inside the car but who wants to look at something that just they don't like you know it's really going to come down the exterior so cross-examine everything there's a lot to look at don't rush into a decision like this but I do think this Forester should be considered I think it's a great player and you know Subaru has done this stuff forever they're really good at it and you're going to get a nice a nice car for your money so hopefully this video laid things on a clear way for you guys thank you for watching this best car review please subscribe if you're not already if you have an idea for a future review drop in the comments and i'll see what i can do if you'd like to become a member of the channel i have that option now uh, check those options out and join if you'd like and i'll catch you on the next best car review